Ivy writes in and says, I've been trying to forgive my husband for cheating on me. We've gone to counseling, but I just can't seem to forgive, nor can I trust. How do you let go of anger, and how do you trust again? God says to forgive, but it's been so hard to do. I want to forgive so we can get on with our lives. So what do you think? Well, that's a good question. I think forgiveness can be one of the most difficult things in the whole wide world to do, and especially when it comes to a spouse, because that's one of the ultimate betrayals. All right, here's the secret. Okay. This is the secret. Stop talking about the cheating. He cheated on you. Well, he's a man. Okay. So what you do is begin to focus on why you married him in the first place. On what he does good, does he provide a home for you to live in? Does he provide food for you to eat? Does he provide clothes for you to wear? Uh, is he nice to the children? Do you have a happy family? Does he take the kids to sporting events? Does he go out and watch their little league games? Um, does he share with you stuff that's going on? And uh, is he handsome? Or is he, you know, what is it? Start focusing on those things and essentially fall in love with him all over again. And I recommend you reach out and touch him. Touch his face. Touch his face. Hold his hand. Look into his eyes. Talk to him. But it's you, you're praying, oh God, keep me not to hate him for what he did when he was with that stripper in that hotel room 10 years ago and I'll never forgive him kind of thing. Please help me. So what are you focusing on? You're focusing on the thing that makes you mad. Stop that. Start focusing on the good stuff. And he must have something that you wouldn't marry him. So think about those things and give him honor instead of trying to worry about it. But recognize also, like it or not, males have a tendency to uh, uh, wander a little bit. And what you want to do is to make the home so wonderful that he doesn't want to wander. But think of the temptations that are out there. The, the, the Internet is filled with pornography. The uh, magazines are filled with pictures, salacious pictures of women. You, you look anywhere you turn around, there's some solicitation to the senses to entice a man.